Hi, if like me, you are working from home and do not have a desk, you might find, like I do, that sitting at a dining room table with a laptop gives you backache, neck ache, and all sorts. I tend to slump because I'm using a dining room chair as opposed to anything in the office that you would have that is ergonomically better. Ergonomic chairs, desks, etc. So the lovely, lovely people at Yo-Yo Desk have sent me a Yo-Yo Desk. Um, <laughs> as you can see from the box, it gives you the ability to have a kind of a desk set up on top of any table that you're using and it enables you to either sit at your desk and work or even stand because let's face it we don't want to be sat all day working I certainly don't um, and it means that you can just move around a little bit better so they've asked me to test this out which is very kind of them I've also got this yo-yo mat which if I'm not completely honest I'm not quite sure what it's for at the moment however it does have a nice little inscription on the side that says I love to move it move it <laughs> I'm not going to sing that for you. So what I'm going to be doing over the next sort of seven plus days is trialing this little beauty out to see how I get on. Hopefully it will sort out my bad shoulders and my bad neck um, from sitting at a dining room table all day, which is not good. Um, so first things first, of course, we need to get it out of the box and have a look what they've supplied. Okay, so I have the mat box here and in terms of the desk, it is listed as being 20 kilos. So if you're a bit of a weakling like I am, you might want to get somebody a little bit stronger to lift it up uh, onto your table, as I have done. Don't want to put my back out as well. And it's great because the box itself gives you um, an idea of how to use this. Um, it shows you the position for the monitor and it also gives you the idea of how you should position yourself because, of course, your wrists uh, should be at elbow height or slightly below. And it gives you all the options of how you can move the screen around to make sure that your uh, eye line is, is with your monitor or laptop. So I'm gonna open this one first. It's a very squishy mat in here. All right, let's pop that out there first of all. Anything else in the box? Any instructions or anything? No, not there. It's very squishy. Okay, I'll work out what that's for in a minute. I can see from the picture I'm supposed to stand on this. I'm going to take my heels off to do that though because I don't want to ruin it with my heels. It's very comfortable. Okay. We have a large box. It's all very nicely protectively sealed. Oh, this is very squishy. It's like a yoga mat. Right. Let's try and get the packaging out of the way. And I'm going to have to ask an adult to help me with this bit too. <laughs> so it's out of the box. Here it is. I've still got to put a few bits together. Um, first of all, in terms of the yo-yo mat, we have a leaflet here. Like I said, it's very bouncy. It's very squishy. It's like a yoga mat. And it talks about introducing us to the yo-yo mat. And it's an anti-fatigue mat. It's supposed to reduce fatigue and aches from standing, boost blood circulation, improves posture, increases calorie burn. I like the sound of that bit and increases oxygen flow to the brain. <laughs> Not quite sure how it does that bit, but okay. Um, we believe that anyone, everyone who uses a standing desk or sit-stand desk, which I believe is what this is, should use anti-fatigue mat and the mat effectively helps to reduce pressure, risk of pain and boosting blood circulation to your legs. Um, and there's a lot of information in here. Um, so that's good. But like I said, in terms of standing up, Kind of makes me want to do a little workout while I'm here, actually. <laughs> um, so we have this. So I should be trialing this out over the next seven plus days, as I said. And now I have um, some instructions how to put a few of these bits together. Now this, if I'm reading it correctly, and we'll have a proper look in a moment, this is the piece that you would work with. Um, I'm not 100% sure at the moment, because if I'm sitting at my desk, that's rather high, which is great for a monitor. And I think there's a piece that goes in here for a keyboard as well. So what we're going to do now is whilst I'm doing my little yo-yo workout on my mat, 
I'm gonna have a work, try and work out how to put this together. There's only a few little pieces actually, so I don't think it's going to be too complicated. And then once I've put that together, we'll have another little look. So the desk is now put together, which was relatively easy. They provide you with a screwdriver and everything, which is handy. Um, so this is the desk at its lowest point. So this is good for when you are sitting. So this is for the sitting position. I'll drag my chair over. Um, so this kind of sits level with the table, which when you've got your keyboard on here, your elbows are at right angles um, or slightly lower, which is how it should be. And obviously you can work nicely with your keyboard. For your standing position, and oh, I would just say as well, and it also means that you can have your monitor at eye height, so you're not straining your neck in any way, shape, or form looking up or anything like that. So it's better on the eyes, better on the neck. So that's good in the sitting down position. Standing up, I have to bring my mat back in. She says, jumping on it. And it's very, very simple. There's two little levers on the side and it pops up quite freely. To stand put in the standing position. Does it go up higher than that for the taller one? Oh, that, oh my goodness, look at that. So depending on how tall you are, you can set that at various different positions. And then you've got your standing position whereby your keyboard is here. I think it's supposed to come up higher than that actually. So that my elbows are once again at right angles. So I can key away. And once again, my monitor would be at eye level. Um, they've provided a nice little leaflet as well in here, all about um, your sit stand, sit stand working guidelines. Gives you an introduction, top five tips for users of sit stand, uh, benefits for your health, for your well-being, for your productivity. So that's good. It's got a nice little diagram there showing you exactly what position and posture you should have when you're sat down or when you're sit standing. And also gives you a lot of idea about how to um, your top tips for active working as well, which to be fair, I was going to say it's common sense, not necessarily common sense, but if you've done any kind of health and safety training uh, with your workplace and all about um, making sure that you don't uh, strain yourself or you've, you know, making sure you don't have bad posture when you're working, then a lot of the things here are also covered in that kind of thing. Um, it talks about attempt to spend at least two hours standing at work to in and increase this to four hours in line with your individual circumstances. Try to interrupt 30 minutes of sitting with at least five minutes of standing, that kind of thing. Because those are all things that do help with your posture. And like I said, I've been sat down and maybe not moving as much as I should. And I have been getting slightly bad shoulders as a result. So it gives you a lot of information there around this. So all this information you can find on sitstand.com and um, we will be providing links, etc., uh, in the YouTube video for where you can find all of these things. Um, etc. So my plan now is over the over the course of today I'm going to get my little desk set up properly with my monitor and my keyboard and then over the next seven days plus I'm going to be trying this out, trying all their top tips to ensure uh, that I'm following them properly, looking at the posture and I'm going to see how that improves how I've been feeling but also to properly try this out. It's nice and sturdy not that you're going to be leaning on it in any way, shape or form particularly, but it's nice and sturdy. They've got some cable ties there as well for any cables that you might have. Um, and yes, I shall be letting you know my honest opinions on how I think this is uh, in about seven, seven, to days, seven to ten days time um, with my review. But I'm looking forward to using it because I have been very uncomfortable sat trying to do my work over the last couple of months. So I'm hoping this will make a vast improvement. So I shall let you know what I think.